What's good, everybody? It's Ab1, and this is Before You Watch. Spoiler-free reviews, and this time I got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I guess they decided to go with that instead of just Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But you know how, like, it's almost, like, based on a mixtape. It's got, like, a mixtape theme because Star-Lord is, like, obsessed with music. So am I, so I get it. And that leads me into my first positive about the movie, the music, the score. It's really good. It's got a lot of oldies but goodies. It's dope. It's not your typical superhero film music with the dun, 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 dun. you know what I'm saying it's got like Michael Jackson and stuff like that which is pretty dope to me it's different the characters work really well together I feel like this movie has a, a lot of elements that work really well um, especially for families there is a lot of cursing and uh, mm, I wouldn't say a lot of cursing but there's more cursing than usual for a superhero movie in this film so if you're bringing like your eight-year-old that's like really impressionable that's gonna watch a movie and start saying things afterwards you might want to cover his ears for some scenes other than that though there's really not too much it's not gory i don't think there's any blood in this movie uh i mean but it's not that type of film you know what i'm saying uh if you're going to compare this to the avengers though you're going to be sadly disappointed because the avengers is i put that in the realm of like michael bay films like explosions and action scenes with really like no substance i mean but it's it's cool it works but guardians of the galaxy is not that not to say that there is no action it's just a different type of action this movie is really really funny now that we know all the characters we're familiar with them you know once you get past that whole introduction and you know origin story of these movies then that's when everything picks up and i feel like that's what's going on with this movie Gomorrah, though, Zoe Saldana, she kind of, I mean, I guess she has, like, a role, but not really, but she does. It's more, you just got to watch the movie. I don't even really want to spoil it for you, but she has her little role thing. But it, in terms of the action, she really doesn't do much. It's really just uh, Star-Lord, Drax, and Rocket Raccoon. But, I mean, Rocket Raccoon deserves to be in a spotlight when it comes to the action, him and Drax anyway. I mean, Rocket Raccoon is like the James Bond of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> so, so, I mean, the only negative I really have to this, to this movie is uh, some scenes are kind of slow, but it's only like two scenes that are like kind of slow. Um... There really is no true villain, though. That's my main, main, main gripe with this movie. There's no true villain. It has a villain, obviously, but you don't feel like it's a villain. And that person's not even revealed as the villain until, like, an hour and 45 minutes into the movie. So you're just like, oh, you're the villain? Okay. And then, I don't know. It just is what it is. But in terms of the grand scheme of the Marvel Universe and as far as like the phase one, phase two, phase three, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to play like a really big role, I think. I think. If what I'm being told is correct. So I'm okay with them not having a true villain because at the end of the day, when everything gets wrapped up, everybody's going to have a villain. <laughs> and Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be a pivotal point as to stop it, as to stopping that villain. But if you're going to bring your family with you, and you guys just want to watch like a feel good movie, I would definitely go check this out. You know, even though it's like it's like two hours and a half, it doesn't feel like it. It actually moves pretty quickly other than those two scenes that are pretty slow. Um, it feels really human. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though there's really one human in the cast, so to speak, which is Chris Pratt's character, Star Lord. But you feel like you, you feel like you don't feel like you're watching superheroes. Like when you watch Civil War, you're like, oh, my God, like these guys have all of these powers and things like that. Even with, like, the X-Men movies, you feel the same way. But with this, no, you feel, you feel like they're more down to earth. Like, you can relate to these characters, which is pretty dope to me. And Batista, like, lucked out with this role. So kudos to him because I feel like all of these guys that used to be pro wrestlers that are, like, banking in on Hollywood now, they, like, went the correct route because pro wrestling is not where it's at <laughs> at all. So I'm going to give this movie a... I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. If there were more, if there was maybe one more really big action scene, I probably would have given it an 8. But for what it has, though, I think it works really well. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm probably going to watch it again. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to watch it again. If you have the option of watching it in 3D, though, I would definitely watch it in 3D. If you can't watch it in 3D, it doesn't matter. It's not going to take away from the movie, but I feel like the 3D is just an added bonus. So, yeah, check it out. Um, I got the Afterthought segment coming right now with my homeboy, Prince Charles. He's going to give us his take on the film and stuff like that. And if you don't watch my uh, the my other series on my YouTube channel, I have one called Ab One Plays, and I'm actually playing the Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series game. So check that out. Um, I post videos up every week, so check that out. I'm obviously going to have a link to that and everything. So uh, make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Ab One, and I got my man Prince Charles with me for the uh, Afterthought section segment for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. How you guys doing? Yo, it's a pleasure all day, every day. You already know what it is. Y'all probably heard him before. He's been on some Afterthought segments for some other movies. I think the last one he was on was um, The Accountant, which yeah. was pretty dope. We were talking yeah. about James Bond and Jason Bourne yeah, and all that shit. Yeah, we're comparing him and putting him... Uh, we're trying to put him in the same in the same level as them, but uh, I think we, we all had a slight disagreement on that. But yeah, it was dope, though. It was definitely dope, a dope though. movie. Dope discussion. A dope movie, too. Definitely a dope movie. All right, so first question, you already know. One to ten, what would you give mm. this movie, yo? Spoiler free, spoiler free. All right, without comparing it to the first one, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. Mm. And uh, spoiler free, it's just, I don't know, it's, it still has that same Guardians vibe. I think it's, it's a definite watch, an absolute watch. So what's the best thing you liked about the movie? Honestly, the best thing I liked about the movie is the humor. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, too. It's funny. The it's movie funny is actually really funny. Uh, it's, yeah. it's funny. It's entertaining. It's, it's one after the other. It's, it's, it's boom, boom, boom. Right? You know, and, it, and, and by that, I mean it's full of action. It's definitely, definitely something worth watching. What's the worst thing you liked? What's the, what's the one thing you most disliked about the movie? The story at the end was a little, little corny. Yeah. But... I mean, it, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. You got you to gotta work with what you have. True. I didn't like the fact that they didn't really have, like, a true villain, yo. See, that was... And that's that's what I mean. That's exactly yeah. what I mean. I'm, I'm Without without putting too much out there, the fact they lack... They really do lack a villain. Word, word, word. And I think there's some surprises coming because this, this movie had a lot of gems that it was throwing out. True. And you really got to pay attention. I don't think we were paying too much attention. Yeah. We still caught some. Word, word, But they got word. a lot of gems they're throwing out, so... Word. Yeah, we were sipping during this movie, so, <laughs> like, we enjoyed it, but, like, sometimes we was bullshitting, but we still enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay... If you would take this movie, right, and uh, you would take this movie, you would take uh, the Avengers, Civil War, and X-Men. As far as, like, collectives, like, you know, they got the teams and shit. Which one would rank them from, like, one through four? Oh, that makes the question even harder. Um, I'm definitely going to put Civil War at as, the top. At the top. Yeah, me too. I'm going to put the first Avengers as number two. Ah! I, that's me. I'm going to put the first Avengers as number two. Okay. And that, because that one, that one ties real close with the, the first Guardians. Okay. Okay. And okay, this right, one, right. this one will be, this one will be at the, at the back end of that. And you going to put X-Men last? Oh, see, next, yeah. I, I don't see, my thing is, I don't see X-Men tying in to uh to oh well, that's a whole different like yeah i think that's like a different distributor or something. yeah i think like, so that's, too that's, i don't see x-men that's sony or fox or whatever it's, right I, I thought it's fox they might have sold they might have sold their uh their copyrights to sony i'm not sure true, or true. back with and this is like the whole marvel studios thing, yeah so, so i really can't i really can't speak on that because i'm not too i'm not too uh savvy on what's going on with what? with that part of marvel but as far as that's concerned i that's how i put it down I put it down. I'm uh, X Men's not in this right now. True, true. I okay. can't wait to see what they do with these Infinity War movies. Bruh, listen. DC needs to, need to catch up, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they really, and up, DC yo. really trying, bro. I, <laughs> <laughs> they trying too yo, hard, though. DC got a Justice League movie coming out, and they didn't even introduce the rest of the characters. That's yet. what I'm saying. I'm they like, really yo. going in. They, I, and I think they realize the kind of money that Marvel's making in the box office. They're trying to but, capitalize. Yeah, they're trying to capitalize. But the thing with Marvel is Marvel's doing an absolute great job at laying down the foundations. Yep. 
And yep. DC, although although they're still doing a good job, it just is they 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 like they're rushing. They're everything. shoving it down your throat. Yeah. And you gotta watch these. You gotta watch the D, the DC movies like two three times to really get it in because it's like two two movies in the one. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, it's like two movies in the one with so many different variations. Not so not so much variations. There's different angles just coming at you, and you really gotta watch it over to really get what they're trying to give you. Yeah, they came out with a. Um they came out with an Aquaman trailer, and then like a week later, it was Justice League. I'm yeah, like, damn, can we crazy. even watch Wonder Woman first? <laughs> like, yo, that's crazy. What's I think going that's on, crazy. yo? I think that's crazy. Back to Marvel, though. Okay, so I, we got this one. What's the next big Marvel movie coming out? Which one is the next big Marvel? Thor. Thor. Thor, Ragnarok, Ooh, that's my man be, Hulk in there. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. So this one, this one, we had some cameos in this uh, Guardians of the Galaxy film. Like... As far as the group goes, who would be who in this movie? Who was your favorite on the screen with this group? As far as what? As far as the, the like, just as a whole, like you know, some people, oh yeah, Mar- Wolverine, that's my guy, or like, oh yeah, you know, Iron Man, that's Ooh, my dude. Ooh, that's a that's a hard question. Um, wow, that's I didn't even think about that one. Cause I feel like every character in this group. Like every member, I feel like they had like their own like role. I think which that's is pretty dope. I honestly think that's what makes it so good because yeah. I can't. I can, if you separate one, you lose it. True. Because it's. True. It, I, I think they all work together, and that's what makes it so good. I True. think that's what makes it so True. entertaining. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I agree. Uh-huh. I was thinking about group, like damn group. If but I yeah. if I was to pick if I was to pick one individual character that strikes me the most, I would say is the little is the, is the raccoon. Rocket Raccoon, right? Yeah, yeah he's yeah, real Rocket. charismatic. He's Rocket real charismatic. Really, yeah, but Drax was guy. up there though, like Batista. Yeah, no, Drax he is really is. He, yo, he, he did really his thing is. This movie, and, and like, I think he is. I think he is the comic relief. He, I, don't think, I don't even think that's what they wanted. He just is the comic relief. Word. And it's like he kind of just fell into that because he's like super literal. So it's yeah, really absolutely. easy. Absolutely. You got somebody who's sarcastic as hell with Star Lord. Absolutely. And then you got Drax but who's like Star Lord's not even. He's not even the 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 comic relief. True. And he, right. It's, it feels like he's. Not so much that he's not funny, but it feels like his character forces it, and that's the nature of his, of his character. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas um, with this guy, he doesn't even intend to be funny. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, he yeah. And that's what makes it so funny, bro. <laughs> when he was like, um, I think you're beautiful too, but on the inside. On the inside. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Is crazy. All right, so you said you give it an eight out of ten. That's what's yeah, up. I give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, Without yeah. Compa- if I'm comparing it to other movies, then that number changes. But in oh, itself, yeah. in itself, yeah, in itself, it gets eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, I don't really know what number I'm gonna give it first. I give it yet. I gotta like let it marinate real quick. But I'm gonna give it a good number because I did like it too. Yeah. Yeah, we had a third person watching it with us, but he was catching Z's. He had to go to work, so it is what it is. Well, but I- all right, so my man Prince Charles, just let him know what you do. You know what I'm saying? Promote yourself. This is my guy. He's funny as hell. We cool. You hear him on the uh, the afterthought segments and stuff like that. He's real knowledgeable on everything like that, as you already know. I don't put people on here that that, that be talking bullshit. So, no, I mean he had a video. He was uh, he was doing the cha cha slide. The, no, the Cupid <laughs> shuffle. I said the cha cha slide. These are the Cupid shuffle. It's funny as hell. He was at a, a wedding, right? Where where? It was a reception. It's funny as hell. I so. got caught. I got caught slipping. I was doing the wrong <laughs> dance to uh, the Cupid <laughs> shuffle. I got it out there. I got it out there on my page. My page is open. It's a it's Facebook, so it has my uh, my government on there. Uh, I'm trying to share, just show people what I do. I, I honestly, uh, I am a, a comedian, and that's something that I've always loved doing. I mean, I, I'm an actor as well. I love uh, I love finding myself on stage, and and it's it's just it's just who I am. If anything, though, I am sharing the video. Uh, Ab one sharing the video. All of my all my peoples are sharing it. So go give it a uh, give it a like, give it a view, give it a share. And you know it's all appreciated. Word, I'm gonna definitely. Uh, we got. I, I gotta get you on some. Uh, I w- I'm gonna have a face to face rant. I told you about that. Word. We're gonna get. We're gonna get together. You know what I'm saying? And then it's gonna be like a one on one thing where we just discuss whatever topic we throwing out there. So word, word. be on the lookout for that, y'all. All right, the sad one and Prince Charles, yo, go check out uh, Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. It was a good movie. Must see. Absolutely. And uh, I don't think. Oh no, Alien comes out next week. So. Oh. You probably gonna be back on there Absolutely. again next week, so expect Absolutely. to hear from him and, from him again. Absolutely. All right, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out his video. Subscribe to him and all that. Follow him. Peace. You already know. All right, word.